Yeah, welcome. Um, a few days ago, someone wrote me an email, and I would like to um, take this opportunity to tell something about really the core of suffering. Um, this person told me that um, that he is in hell and he doesn't know whether he should go into these feelings or rather distract himself. So this is a typical um, this is a typical question for all the spiritual people who completely ignore the fact that there's a third option and this third option is to connect with somebody and to stabilize the nervous system so this is an it is not about going into it nor distracting it is about creating a relationship creating a contact with another nervous system which uh, brings down all the stuff and uh, recreates a, a, a state of safety, a state of organization and stability. Um, yeah, so... Um, in one of my last German videos I gave an introduction to the Enneagram, um, which is still a very complex system and um, I don't want to do this uh, in this video but to um, I, I would I would rather offer an, uh, a more uh, a very simple view on the things so if you suffer um, I mean it is in the end it is it looks chaotic and it maybe looks um, unclear what's going on and there may be deep suffering if there's childhood trauma or mental illness or whatsoever but at really at our core it is it is very simple what's going on there and I would like to offer you a very simple structure a very simple view like an inner landscape which may help you to to find a way out of it so if you look into yourself about into your situation and I've done this for for many years for decades um, you see that in the end you are always moving between just three states and these three states are very simple. One state is you are in a real connection with the world, with the people, with other humans, or at least you have the potential for it in your nervous system. So you are able or you are right now in, a, in real connection. So this is the best state, this is the ideal situation, and this is what is feels good and um, this is where we actually want to be in this state and there's another state which I would call um, pseudo connection or connection simulation which is um, a substitute for real connection so if, if you are not able to to directly connect to have real connection and maybe through childhood trauma you, your nervous system has no patterns which, with which you can create a, a really good relationship so you struggle with humans and so but you, we really can't be without connection this is something which I all, what I always see also in my sessions with clients and with, with myself too that if there is no possibility for real connection, we always create a substitute for that. So this is the second state. This can be everything. It can be using alcohol, drugs, or it can be working too much, um, like surfing in the internet. 
what you create what is done there is you melt your mind with something to get at least a kind of a kind of um, yeah a kind of connection with, with, with which calms your nervous system down at least a little bit so it is not a real connection it is it is a substitute but at least this is better than nothing so this is this this is the second state and the third state if is if even this is not possible if you don't have a possibility to calm your nervous system down by using some artificial means of uh, being in contact being um, in connection with the world you are in a state of separation and this is really hell this is the this is the state where the real the, the most suffering is so in general people who are able to create the pseudo connection uh, usually don't come to to a session because they in a way don't suffer it is a workaround it is not the real thing but at least it works to stabilize the nervous system only if this also doesn't work then people come and, and need help and des are desperate so actually we move only in in this dry angle and if you are not connected this is in the end it is unbearable what i see is that um, people are not able to to integrate this as it is often said in, in spiritual um, groups where it is said okay just feel it feel the separation my own experience is that this is not really possible because to integrate such a deep suffering it is um, you at least need the opposite somehow on, on the outside you, you cannot cr integrate loneliness and separation from your early childhood if you have never experienced something different this is not possible so what I see is that people the real connection is not possible so they, they do everything to create a simulation to create a pseudo connection and even if it harms the body it doesn't matter it no no there's no other way to to really stabilize the nervous system yeah so if you find yourself um, in this triangle you, you right now you probably see where you are most of the time and if you are in the third state where no real connection is possible and no simulation is possible then the, the point is not to um, well let's say it, at this point you can't go into that this is too much it, there's no island there's no stability for that you don't try to to work on this directly it is not about integrating this or distracting yourself the point to heal this and to get out of this and this is basically just a state of the, the autonomous nervous system is to get into contact with people so you have to focus your whole life on this instead of trying to become enlightened or instead of trying to meditate or something like that these are all solutions to deal with that on your own alone but this is this is the drama this is the actual problem so what you have to do is you have to really shift your attention from something which was not possible in your childhood to that which is possible today because today there are many people around you you can choose you are, you are not a victim anymore so if you focus totally on on the connection with other people and this can start for example by imagination by imagine, uh, imagining this what is helpful in such a state if there's no real person real person available just start to imagine that you are in a conversation with somebody if you do this really then 
this alone is something which calms down the nervous system because for the nervous system it is it is the difference is not so much if you imagine it or if you have it on on the outside so if you have this image images in you that you are in a nice interaction with somebody in a nice relationship then things start to calm down and this is where this is the way the way is not to meditate or to deal with it or even to go deeper into that this, this can lead to a disaster if you do that alone so what it is all about is that we also as a whole we are the humans we have to come back and really start connecting with each other and this means that we start communicating if you are not in connection with the world and with the people it always means that there is some kind of energy not flowing so you the, the, the point is that you have to start really to show something about yourself and to communicate and to ask to, to, to get something going on in, in the energy flow and this is this is really the, the core and this is the actually this is the core of all healing because if we are connected interconnected with each other our nervous systems calm down so much that there is enough that there are enough resources to heal the body and, and everything else. This is the core of all healing and the core of all suffering. This is not available. And as soon as you are able to create a connection with this world, which means with other people, it just feels well. It is the state of the ventral vagus in the autonomous system, in the autonomous nervous system, which gives us the feeling of relaxation, of happiness. And that's where we actually want to go. And all what we see right now is that we, we, we don't understand this. We, 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 we look at that which separates us. But we have to, we have to come back to our, together. And meditation is not the way at this point. Meditation happens and is possible if the stability in the nervous system is so big that you can go into these states. So being connected is the basis for for meditation. If you have no stability on the outside your nervous system is in an arousal and in a let, let, in, it is actually in a fight-flight mode and in this state you can meditate. meditate. Meditation is possible if your nervous system feels safe and this safety comes automatically if you are connected. So the basis for meditation is co a connection communication integrate being integrated in the society if this step hasn't been completed your system is too much aroused it is too much in a in a life death struggle on the subconscious level and you can you can solve this by meditation this is not possible so again if you suffer, look at these points of the triangle being connected in a real connection using pseudo connections or ways of giving the nervous system a kind of simulation of a, of a connection or being completely separated where none of these both work. And with this model it makes things very easy. It is not complicated. So just continue focusing on this interaction of this communication and you have to feed your nervous system with that. You can, as I mentioned before, you can imagine this, you can watch uh, movies, 
where you can see nice interactions between people. For example, many French movies, uh, you can you can see that uh, where you, where you have nice interactions, nice dialogues, and so on. So, and and if you see and and if you go to town and um, look at the people, you can focus on many things. But my suggestion is that you focus on how people get into contact. What, what do these people do to interact, to get in a, con in a connection? Whether you are in a supermarket or at a bus station, doesn't matter. In every interaction, if you watch this, how people really connect. And if you go this way, you, you, f you really get more and more into that. And this, again, is, this is really the key to dissolve the hell on this earth. And the hell is in your nervous system. No, it is not outside. We suffer, we suffer from separation. And this is created in the early childhood, basically. By the way, the, the yoga system... I mean, <laughs> yoga is, I think, a few thousand years old. And yoga means reconnection, reconnecting. So it is the same, maybe on a, on a greater level, but basically the understanding is the same. So at the core of all suffering is the experience or the idea or the feeling of separation. And this can be changed. You really can change this. And I have changed it. It is, it is possible. And if you are not able to do it alone, then please do trauma therapy. This is the best way to get support with this procedure. And then, the point is, you need only one person to heal this. You need only one person to implement a new relational pattern in your nervous system. It is not about many friends and many healers or therapists. If you find one person where you can really stay, whatever happens, you stay until your nervous system experience something new without escaping into separation again then things start to change because this new pattern you can use everywhere with every person which is nice or feel safe with. So try to find this person, this single person with whom you can establish a new pattern in your nervous system. And then all the doors open to spirituality, then you can meditate very easily because there's so much peace in the nervous system, so much calmness. You are actually, <laughs> I've, I found out that you feel so contented and so happy and it's so safe in your body that you forget everything about enlightenment or spirituality. This is not necessary anymore because you're happy and you feel well on this earth, on this plane. So, that's what I see, what it's all about. And one last thing is, if you, if you look what is in the end, what is ecstasy, and what is suffering, this can be described in expansion and contracting, contraction. And also this has a, um, let's say, um, th th this is something which happens also in the body. The body thinks it is, is safe, it is safe, then it relaxes and it feels wider. There's some expansion. And if there seems to be danger and being not connected, not connected is dangerous, then it contracts. And this is the suffering. Suffering is always something which 
has to do with contraction. You feel narrow. And the better you feel, the wider you feel. And ecstasy is a complete expansion. In every ecstatic situation, you feel very wide. This can happen whatsoever. I mean, in every, if you dance, for example, or every situation you remember where there has been an ecstatic state. It was a state of expansion. And this expansion is the result of safety, of relaxation. And it is open as soon as the connection is established, you meditate and just wait and, and the ecstasy will happen because this stability in your life and in your nervous system is there. And the other way around, to escape this imprint of separation with meditating and transcendental experiences, that this doesn't work. At least this is my experience. So, this is the way. And for all of us, we start talking with each other instead of creating wars. And on the global level, you see these warmongers, political leaders, these, these people are not able to, to communicate with each other. This is what is what we can see. They celebrate the separation, but we go another.